Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you two ways to create self-graded quizzes that your students can take even if they don't have email addresses. Someone asked me about this earlier today, so I thought I'd make a short little video on how to do it. So let's go ahead and take a look here. The first method is in Google Forms. Now, what's important to know about doing this in Google Forms is that in your settings, you need to make sure that you have disabled collect email addresses and restricting to users within your domain. A lot of schools, a lot of organizations have that by default set to restrict to only people within your domain being able to access the form. So make sure you've turned that feature off. Now, let's save that. And we'll go ahead and make our first question something like, what is your name? And I'm going to make sure that in my answer key here, I haven't set a point value because I don't want that to count towards my student's score. Now, I'll go ahead and add my next question and say, you know, what color is a polar bear? And it gives some options. And in my answer key here, let's go ahead and set my point value at five points and my correct answer and hit done. Now, once I've created all of my questions, I'm gonna go in the upper right hand corner, click send, and I'm going to click on the option for a link here. And once again, make sure you have not clicked collect email addresses. Otherwise, your students will need an email address in order to complete the form. Then just copy that link. You can put it anywhere you want. You can put it in Schoolology. You can put it in a Canvas course. You can put it wherever you would like to post that link for your students to access it. So just copy that, and then you can post it anywhere you want. Then your student, when they click on the link, will see it like this and can submit the quiz. Now, in this case, I've allowed students to see their scores as soon as they finish it, but you can change that in your settings as well. Under your quizzes, you could disable what students can and can't see when they submit. Now, the other option is to use Microsoft Forms, which works in a very similar manner to Google Forms. Again, I've created my Microsoft Forms at forms.office.com, signed into my Microsoft account. And you can see I have demo quiz 12345. And I'm going to add my new question here. And my new question will be just a simple text of, again, what is your name? And I'm going to have that as no points. I am going to make it required so that my students have to put in their names. Then add my next question. Let's do multiple choice. What color is a polar bear? Let's add a few of these options. Give it a point value of five points and make that a required question. Now, when I'm ready for my students to take this quiz, I just hit the send button and make sure I copy the link. You can see here, anyone can, I have it set so that anyone can respond if they have that link. And so my student would see it like this. And there it is. They can now see their results and how they did on the quiz. So that's a short overview of how you can create a self grading quiz using Microsoft Forms or Google Forms and share it with your students even if they don't have email addresses. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.